time, and I call the member for Barton. Um, thank you, Madam Assistant Speaker. I rise to speak on the Social Services Legislation Amendment Cashless Debit Card Trial Expansion. This bill proposes to extend the cashless debit card trial to Bundaberg and Harvey Bay. If this bill is successful, all recipients of New Start, Youth Allowance and other, and parenting payments in the electorate of Hinkler, who are under 36, will be forced to be become trial participants. They will be forced, Madam Assistant Speaker. The cashless debit card quarantines 80 per cent of an income support payment onto a special debit card which cannot be used to purchase alcohol, gamble or buy gift cards, which could in turn be used to purchase alcohol or gamble. It is expected, it is, it is expected that around 6,700 people in Bundaberg, Harvey Bay would become trial participants. Labor does not support this bill. As we've said many times now, Labor supports genuinely community-driven initiatives to dr tackle drug and alcohol abuse. We believe they must be genuinely community-driven, not top-down. Labor does not believe in a blanket approach to income management. We do not support a national rollout of the cashless debit card. Let me repeat that because I know there is a lot of misinformation on social media about this issue. Let me be very, very clear. Labor does not support any nationwide rollout of the cashless debit card. Labor understands that the vast majority of income support recipients are more than capable of managing their own finances. We understand that for many people become for that for many people become income people be, people income management simply isn't necessary. Labor has said all along that we will talk to individual communities and make decisions on a location by location basis. After hearing the evidence presented to the Senate inquiry and speaking with people in Bundaberg, it is absolutely clear that the community in Bundaberg do not want to, to be part of this trial of the cashless debit card. They do not want it in their town. The mayors of both local government areas in the trial region, Bundaberg and the Fraser Coast Shire, oppose the introduction of the cashless debit card in Bundaberg and Harvey Bay. And that has been a very important point that Labor has considered in our decision. The mayor of Bundaberg, for, former LNP stalwart and Queensland State Minister Jack Dempsey, says his community has turned against the cashless debit trial after learning the cost. Key groups from Bundaberg region felt ignored by the government's consultation process on this issue. And this, Ms. Madam Assistant Speaker, is another really important point that we have considered. Representatives from the Gadrajil Development Corporation explained that Gadrajil is probably considered to be the largest Indigenous organisation in Bundaberg and there hasn't been any approach on any matter, including this, the rollout of this trial uh, from the Federal Minister, and that is a very telling fact, top down. Representatives from a community advocacy group in Bundaberg explained to the Senate inquiry that there has been little to no public consultation, and what has taken place has been done behind closed doors. Labor will only consider the introduction of a new trial site if the Liberals can show that they have agreed formal consultation processes with the community, as well as agreed definition of consent. The flawed evaluation is another important point to consider. On, to on top of that, the ORIMA evaluation into the effectiveness of the existing trials in Seduna and East Kimberley is inconclusive at best. The evaluation has been criticised by leading academics, and there is insufficient credible evidence at this point to support the establishment of further trials. Janet Hunt, the Deputy Director of the Centre for Aboriginal Economic Policy Research at the Australian National University, said the evaluation showed the cashless debit card had not actually improved safety and violence despite that being one of the trial objectives. Hunt is critical of the methodology used in the ORIMA evaluation. She argues that people in interviewed for the evaluation may have been told interviewers uh, may have told interviewers that they drank less than before the trial began. 
but that such recall over a year is not likely to be very, to be very reliable. Furthermore, people had to give their identification to the interviewer. They may have said exactly what they thought the interviewer wanted to hear and certainly would ha not have incriminated themselves. This is particularly true for the Aboriginal population, who because of historical reasons are likely to view authority figures with deep suspicion. Yet last year, the former Minister for Human Services described the cashless debit card trials as a huge success and the Prime Minister himself has said that the card has seen a massive reduction in alcohol abuse, in drug abuse, in domestic violence and in violence generally. But Janet Hunt made it clear that this was not the case, stating clearly someone needs to tell them that the report does not say these things at all. And this is important because the government's argument for expanding the rollout of this card rests very heavily on this evaluation. When participants were asked about the impact of the trial on their children's lives, only 17 per cent reported feeling their lives were better as a result. To be very frank, Madam Assistant Speaker, I thought the ARIMA evaluation was substandard and I don't believe that any government should be making significant policy decisions off the back of such poor quality evaluation. Labor will only consider the further expansion of the cashless debit card trial sites when there is much greater evidence and credible evidence of its effectiveness. The cost of the rollout of the cashless debit card is very important is a very important consideration in this debate. We know that the government has already paid 7.9 million of that to debit card, the debit card provider Indium, and almost 1.6 million to Arima Research to provide a poor quality evaluation. So that in total, um, of course, is, is well over $8 million. Labor understands that the current accrued cost of the cashless debit card trial is around $24 million for the two sites to the 15th of March 2018. This means that per head cost of the two trial sites is well over $10,000. Well over $10,000 per head. There is a better way to achieve the objectives. And it is quite extraordinary that we are debating this bill today without any indication from the minister about how much it will cost taxpayers to roll out the card at Bundaberg and Harvey Bay. In fact, they still haven't said how much the trial of the goldfields is costing, despite the fact that the trial has been operating there since early May. Perhaps it has something to do with the fact that a local council in Bundaberg did a survey that showed when locals were told how much the trial program would cost to administer, support for the trial in the community dropped to just 26 per cent. So the government are deliberately avoiding telling us the cost per head for political reasons. This is simply unacceptable. The government must say how much the trial at Bundaberg Harvey Bay will cost, as well as the cost for the trials in the Goldbergs, uh, gold fields in Western Australia. It is important to note that Labor supported the, initi the initiation of trials in Sedona and East Kimberley, and that supports them continuing until mid-2019, to allow more time to, for a reliable um, evaluation to determine whether they have been successful. In April last year, um, the Shadow Minister for Human Services, Jenny Macklin, and I went to the East Kimberley to meet with community leaders in Kununurra and Wyndham. We met with Warangari, Binari Binja, Yaru, Gaolung, Gordeng, and Nunga Aria Aboriginal Corporations, along with the Wanan Foundation, Kununurra Hospital, St John's Ambulance Services, Kununurra Police, Mugong Sobering Up Shelter, East Kimberley Job Pathways and Department for Child Protection and Family Support, a fairly significant consultation in anyone's, uh, anyone's estimation. The feedback we received to, on the cashless card in the East Kimberley was mixed. Some people were in favour of the card and others were strongly opposed, and many people thought the card was just, was just worth trialling. Ian Trust, head of the Wunun Foundation, described the card as a potential circuit breaker for his people. 
St John's Ambulance in Kalinara said the call-outs for alcohol-related violence had gone down. At a Senate inquiry in Western Australian police released data on domestic assaults. The 12 months, the 30 June 2017, 2017 saw 508 domestic assaults in Kalinara. For the 12 months previous to that July 1, 2015 to 30 June 2016, there were 319. Now that is an increase. I also had the opportunity to visit the women's refuge in Kununurra and talk to some of the women staying there. They did not have a positive view of the cashless card. They told us that life had gotten harder with the card, that there was more violence and more crime as cash had become scarce. Others said that the sly grog trade, um, trade meant that there, was, there were ways that people could easily get around the card if they wanted to buy grog. <laughs> A common sentiment that I heard across the week was that things are so bad in the local community that they were willing to give anything a go. Essentially, they supported the cashless card, not out of hope, but out of despair. We've continued talking with people in the local community in the period since our formal consultation. So Labor takes a very clear-eyed view of this issue. We are not being ideological in our approach to this issue. We have a set of guiding principles, and that determines our positions on this debate. Our position on this debate. In summary, Madam Assistant Speaker, Labor does not support this bill. We don't support the expansion of the card to Bundaberg and the Harvey Bay area. The evidence presented to the Senate inquiry, as well as our own consultations, show that people in the community of Bundaberg do not want the cashless debit card in their town. Mayors of both local areas on the trial region, as I said, Bundaberg and Fraser Coast Shire, publicly, publicly oppose uh, the introduction of the cash to step card in Bundaberg, Harvey Bay. The ORIMA evaluation into the effectiveness of the existing trials, which the government relies on so heavily, is inconclusive at best. And I have to say, um, Madam Assistant Speaker, I have read very closely that evaluation, and it is of a poor quality and certainly should not be relied on by the government and should not be represent, uh, uh, represented or uh, misrepresented by the government as some raging success. You know very well that it is not, and it says ex it clearly that, that the card has no, had uh, no effect, particularly in terms of violence in those communities. Labor believes that there is currently inefficient, credible evidence to support the establishment of further trials. Labor will only consider the introduction of a new, a new trial site if the government can show that they have an agreed, formal consultation process with the community, as well as agreed definition of consent. That is Labor's position. Um, it is completely reasonable if such dramatic changes are going to be made to so many people in that community that there be a bottom-up approach, that it is owned by the community and it has not been a top-down approach, as we have seen here. And certainly there has to be support of the local community. Labor opposes this bill.